confidence. I'm the epitome of confidence. I am that bitch, <laughs> period. Hey babes, it's your girl Bajo Lee. Welcome back to my channel, Positively Raw. Here we talk about all things positive with spiritual beings and we are living our best life. Today, we are going to be talking about dun, 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 putting yourself on a pedestal. You are the main character in your life. You need to embody that energy and own it. When you are the main character in your life, you exude confidence. You love yourself on another level. The first piece of advice I would give you is to stop comparing yourself to people that you see on social media. These celebrities, don't do it. Half of these people are fake as hell. What you see online, half the time is not even real. Especially these celebrities. You see how their photos be touched up and all that. These celebrities are regular people. They have confidence. They're living their life. They're manifesting. They're doing everything that they want to do. They put themselves on a pedestal and they are the main character in their life. And with that confidence, other people love them. I remember there was a time I saw a picture of Mary J. Blige. She was on a beach looking lovely, natural. You know, her thighs were thick, little, you know, cellulite, whatever. Natural body. She was looking vegan. And I saw people in the comments talking mad shit about her like, Oh, this, that, and the third. Like, everybody's so used to seeing Photoshop pictures and touched up photos and um, fake bodies. And none of that's real. Mary has confidence that's on a thousand, okay? This is the type of energy you need to exude in your life. There's nothing wrong with getting your body done if that's what you want to do. But also, there's nothing wrong with being natural. People are being judged so much for not, for being authentic, which is really sad. Why Why are we judging people for being who they are? Because they're so used to these fake perfect people that they see online, which is not even real. They're getting work done. They're getting all these surgeries. And then when you see them in real life, people be talking shit. Like, what are you talking shit for? These people are beautiful with or without the touch-ups and all this other stuff. Our bodies are beautiful. And if you're not happy with your body... If you want to get the work done, get the work done. If you want to go to the gym, go to the gym. But don't sit around and be miserable and then be not confident in yourself because of how you look or whatever. Love yourself regardless and stand on that shit ten toes down. And if you can't afford to go to the gym or get your body done, there are home workouts. I love doing home workouts and my favorite is Lily Sabri, Sabri, Lily. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And also Adrian Bryant. They have great home workouts. They have results, videos of people who show their results and everything. Listen, that's what I'm doing now because trust and believe I have a gut. And summer is coming, honey. So trust me, the home workouts work. Do the work, put the work in, but be confident, baby. Put yourself on a pedestal and live yourself live your life and love yourself because there's so many people who don't love themselves just because they're unhappy with how they look baby you need to say them affirmations trust me they work say them affirmations to yourself say it out loud one really good technique is to repeat affirmations for self-confidence and different ones like that in the mirror every single day and as you do it you will feel it, you embody the words, and you will feel that confidence that you need to be the main character in your life and to put yourself on that pedestal. So don't be that person who act like they can't be confident, just like Kim Kardashian, Beyonce. We can all embody that energy within ourselves, all right? You have to embody that person, so you have to live your life as your best self. What does that person look like? What does that person's morning routine look like? Do they meditate? I suggest you do. Trust me, it helps leaps and bounds with confidence and just feeling good in general. How do you speak to yourself? Do you speak to yourself like somebody that you like? Do you speak to yourself like somebody who has confidence in themselves? Because you should be. 
And that's where affirmations and meditation also comes in at. You know every video I'm probably going to be talking about meditation, affirmation, or both. So you have to pour into yourself. You have to love yourself. I don't know how many any different ways I can say this, but you really have to love yourself. You have to speak to yourself kind. You have to, when you start thinking negatively about yourself, as soon as you catch that, stop, cut it off, and start seeing positive affirmations. I love myself. I am gorgeous. I am the ep epitome of gorgeous. I'm the epitome of confidence. I am that bitch. <laughs> Period. Other thing. Are you setting boundaries with people who don't make you feel like your best self, best self in your life? You need to set boundaries. If somebody doesn't make you happy, you need to set boundaries. If somebody is putting you down especially, you need to set boundaries. Cut them off. But if you can't do that for whatever reason, set boundaries. Another thing, what is the per your higher self or your best self, that main character, that person on a pedestal? What are the, What is that version of you? What are their goals? Do you have goals? Some set of goals that you can achieve so you can feel your best self. Create a vision board. Write it. Get a journal. Write down. I love writing journals. Writing my journals. But create a vision board. Create um, a journal just for your goals and your affirmation and things that you that motivate you that you want to do or get into. Get some hobbies that make you feel good about yourself. You know, start it. Start that business. And again, if you're having issues with these things, do your affirmations. You can literally do affirmations for anything. I am a successful YouTuber. I have everything that I want. I have the most gorgeous car. I'm the most successful person that I know. I can do anything that I put my mind to. I can manifest anything I want. I am going to have my dream life, period. Manifestation. We just talked about this in my last video. You can be and do whatever you want and you just have to embody that type of energy, your higher self energy and that main character energy so saying affirmations like i said in my last video reprograms your subconscious to believe whatever it is you say and the person that you want to be you will manifest that into your existence and you will absolutely be that person no matter what it is the more you say your affirmations and create your own affirmations whatever it is that you have goals for Start your affirmations, write it out, read it every day in the morning. Good time to read your affirmations is when you're a little bit drowsy, sleepy, and like about to go to bed. Say your affirmations and then go to sleep. Do it every day. Do it for 21 days. Shit, do it for three months. Just until your subconscious and until you start to embody that main character um, energy, just keep doing it. I promise you it works. So start that business, start that YouTube channel, ask that person out, whatever you want to do. Once you invite that confidence, girl, you, girls and guys, you can have whatever you want, babe, whatever you want. So when you start to do these things, you manifest that person who you want to be, that main person, that main energy, that main character. Um, and you just put yourself on a pedestal and you just be that bitch or that dude. I don't want to use the other word. But you embody that person and you'll be, you'll have yourself on a pedestal and you will have the best life, I promise you. One of my favorite ways to embody the bad bitch in me is through music. I listen to music that makes me feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> okay. On my way to work, after I drop the kids off, um, while I'm at work, on my way home from work sometimes i listen to gospel because i just love gospel but especially if i need to pick me up i'm on my my music is everything it motivates me music makes you feel good pick some of your favorite songs so when you listen to music just feel the words feel the energy make a playlist of songs that make you feel like the main character and like you're on a pedestal and trust me 
just feel that energy and you will start to feel like the main character do this every day so i have some songs in my journal this is my journal y'all I have some songs that I wrote down on my channel that I want to share with you that helps me and I will list all of them in the description, the links, in case you like any of the songs that I chose. To help you out, it's a pretty lengthy list, so here it goes. Conceited, Conceited by Flo Millie. If I Can't Do It by 50 Cent. I'm not sure if I said it right, but you know what I'm talking about. Grown Woman by Beyonce. Love me some Beyonce. Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. Who Run the World by Beyonce. Level Up by Sierra. Juice by Lizzo. Fancy by Iggy. I Am by Young Baby and Flo Millie. Just Fine by Mary J. Smile Bitch by Little Duval. Conceited by Zemi Lovato, Boss by Fifth Harmony, Feeling Myself by Nicki Minaj, Fucking Perfect by Pink, Mary Mary Go Get It, Good As Hell by Lizzo, Stronger by Kanye West, Good Life by Kanye West, Survivor by Destiny Child. I feel good by James Brown. I feel good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is really one that I love to listen to, especially in the morning. Since You a Bad Bitch by Sharia Wise. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Also, T.I., whatever you like. I love that song. It's a, like a manifestation song for me. Um, I pretend like that's the universe and God. Not necessarily God. You know, but anyway, CI, I feel that song is like the universe singing to me. Like, I could have whatever I like, whatever I like. Um, Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. That's another song that is like a manifestation song and it builds your confidence. I want it, I got it. 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 <laughs> um, SZA, Conceited, and Remy Ma, Conceited. So, another advice that I have, too, suggestion I have is buy yourself a gift one day. Something that you really, really want. Just buy it. Wrap it up in your favorite color wrapping paper or your favorite type of wrapping paper. There's all types of different wrapping papers now. Save it for a day that you're like really like feeling down. You'll know when to open it. Save it, put it up, and whenever you need to open it, you have to learn to make yourself happy. Don't depend on other people to make you happy. Don't depend on people, other people to give you the things that you want. Don't depend on other people to give you the things that you need. Feel that bad bitch energy. Feel that bad bitch energy. Be the main character. Put yourself on a pedestal so you can live your best life. So, say your affirmations. Make a playlist of your music. Buy yourself a gift. Meditate. I will um, I will put down one of my favorite meditations. That's a, it's called Lucky Syndrome Meditation. I love that meditation. When I listen to... That, when I finish doing that meditation, I literally feel like I can have and do and be anything that I want. I just found this meditation like last week and I've been doing it practically every day. And it's the best meditation ever. I actually cut out two of my meditations that I do for this one. It was two 10 minute meditations. Put it, started doing it doing this one which is a 20 meditation because it's like both of those meditations put together but even better and they have the dopest affirmations in that video so i actually wrote my favorite ones down in my affirmation book and i read them just about every day and they make me feel so amazing i feel like the main character in my life next to my children and my husband 
I feel like the main character in my life. And I feel like a bad bitch every day because why not? Okay? So, like we say on this channel, use negatives, like a camera, use negatives to develop. And remember that you are the main character and put yourself on that pedestal, the highest pedestal you can find. You're just that bitch. You're that dude. Embody that. Love yourself. Feel that energy because you are it. Fuck social media. Stop watching other people and comparing yourself. Half the time, they probably wearing somebody else's shit, stunting in somebody else's car, in somebody else's crib, taking pictures. And listen, embody that main character energy. Put yourself on a pedestal because you deserve it and nothing less. In the, after, in the meditation, one of the things that they say is, I accept luxury is my standard. Luxury is my standard. And why not? Okay. So, again, like a camera, we use negatives to develop. Follow my Instagram for positive motivation every single day. And I will talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.